Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Saren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at spicy things people say about you. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. For pile number one we have this homemade salt crystal and the Mythos Tarot. For pile number two we have Green Aventurine with the Muse Tarot. And for pile number three we have Black Tourmaline and the Light Sears Tarot. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be a pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this homemade salt crystal in the Mythos Tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at spicy things people say about you. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. And please also note, sometimes readings like this can be triggering, we don't always know what people are going to say about us. It depends on the person and what they're saying, the type of person they are, if they're going to spread rumors about us or actually say negative things about us or positive things, which we can't control what other people say about us. So if you're going to watch this, please be mindful that things may come up that you may not want to hear that people may say about you. So just keep that in mind. Let's get started with your reading now. So I'm first going to use this oracle deck. So spirit guides of my pile number ones, spicy things people say about them. So we have the snake charmer. Interesting. Then we have the schoolgirl. And we have the artist at the back of the deck. So what I'm getting from the Snake Charmer card, people could say things about you, that you're very sexy, very flirtatious, charming in ways, okay? They could say things like, pile number one has a hot body. <laughs> no matter your gender, there's something about your body that's coming through as quite hot in some way. People often call you hot and sexy um, and say that you're a little bit flirtatious seductive in ways. So that is one spicy thing people say about you. Let's get more cards. So spirit guides of pile number one, spicy things people say about them. So we do have the tower. So I'm not going to lie with a tower. You do have some people that are very jealous of you and are hoping that things will fall apart for you or are kind of like preying on your downfall with the tower and talking about you in a way where they're focusing on the things that went wrong in your life, focusing on your hard moments in life when you were lacking resources or lacking the things you needed with the five of pentacles. So that would be people that are just very jealous of you, pile number one. And I sensed this earlier that this pile may have some jealousy because with the schoolgirl, I was kind of getting this message of like people thinking you're very smart and intelligent. And a lot of people will say that they think you're very educated in ways, but then some people will like say things like, oh, pile number one, they're know-it-all and blah, 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 blah. They think they know everything. So I see that message here, but the schoolgirl is also acting cute, like in schoolgirl clothes. And sometimes people will say like, oh, why are they acting so cute? Like, who are they trying to look cute for? Like things like that. Um, we have the Ace of Cups, which is really weird. But then I guess other people really love you with the Ace of Cups, really admire you from afar and speak good about you so there are some people that are jealous of you whereas there are some people that really love you and admire you from afar and speak about you in a way there that's coming from a place of admiration and saying like you know pile number one they're so sexy they're so hot or they're so intelligent 
With the pink here, they may say, you know, pile number one, they're such a loving person, or I really like pile number one, they're so cool, um, I'd really love to get to know them more and start some kind of friendship or relationship to them. So that's what I see with Ace of Cups here. People could also say things like, you have this really youthful spirit, you're really fun to be around, and really romantic, a lover at heart. In the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel, so if you enjoy my videos so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to all my subscribers that have been supporting me since the beginning. Your support means the world to me, and I'm so, so, so grateful for you. My goal is to reach 100k subscribers by the end of the year, and I can't do it without you. So I'm so, so, so grateful to anybody that supports the channel. So Spirit Guides of Pile number one. Spicy things people say about them. I'm hearing people have a lot to say about you, this pile specifically. Like people love to talk about this pile. And I feel like people kind of have that love-hate relationship with you where some people love you, whereas some people just dislike you for no reason. People will often um, speak about your school days or your younger years with a schoolgirl. People from school may still speak about you if you've recently graduated. You know what I mean? And that's something I see there. Or people from college. Like if you're in school or college right now, people from school or college could speak about you. Or people could also speak about your younger years and things you did. Like... Almost like wild things you did with a snake charmer. So we have Seven of Cups. We have Ace of Wands. Seven of Swords. Okay, I felt this. So I see people talking about your sex life i can't say it on youtube because of their rules and regulations but i see people talking about it like let's say you went to college and some of you really were wild and like you know maybe you drank a lot and partied a lot or something like that i get the the vibe with the ace of wands and seven of swords they may be spilling the tea on on that type of bedroom life part of your life um People that may have even, like, been with you may brag about it in ways which I'm sorry, pile number one. That's not a nice message to receive because that should be, that should stay private. Because I'm getting you don't kiss and tell. You don't, like, tell people about this type of thing. Like, you're very private about it. Or some of you just wouldn't be happy to hear that, but... I'm sorry, this is what I'm getting. I'm really, really sorry. But with the Queen of Wands, it's because you're so sexy. It's because you're so magnetic that everybody wants to say that they've been with you. Everybody wants to get a chance with you. And I'm getting that a lot of people just say you're really hot, that like they'd love to be with you in that way. Um, weird, but I see that. And yeah, that's what I see there. We have the Lovers. We have the Seven of Wands. We have strength. We have the eight of swords. And we have the hierophant. So the hierophant, this card, um, this god is the god of wine, pleasure, ecstasy, fun. So people could speak about you in that way and say like you're the life of the party. You're really fun to be around. That when you were younger or now, if you relate to this right now, that you were like the life of the party, so fun to be around. Um, I'm even getting like people that have had fun times with you going out and like partying may talk about those fun times they had with you and like really add a little bit of extra spice to their sp storytelling. Tell them like fun things you did together, funny things that happened between that, like situations there. I'm gonna put the extra cards to the side for now. Let's just analyze these first. Okay, my pile number ones. I'm also hearing um, 
like spilling secrets of yours, things you wouldn't want other people to know. And I'm getting here, like, people often talk about you as if you were the sexiest girl or boy in your class, like, or in college, or, like, you are really, really sexy, where you're constantly rejecting people, where people constantly are giving you love offers with the seven of cups opposite the lovers, but you're constantly rejecting people. And I feel like people talk about you and say that, you're somebody with a really good heart and nature to you. And I think that is true because we have the Empress at the back of the deck. So you're really nurturing. You're really somebody with a very big heart. But you also have a lot of beauty to you and seduction to you. I mean, the Empress is like that Venusian energy, that very beautiful person. And the lovers with Aphrodite. Aphrodite is the goddess of beauty, romance, things like that. So people may speak about you and say that you're somebody that is really beautiful and hot, but then you want real love. You want somebody that's going to be soft with you. You don't want somebody that just wants you because of your sexiness and your hotness and somebody that's going to betray you or deceive you or not have your best interests in mind. And so I see people talking about that and saying that, you know, you're really sexy, but then you do want love, you do want romance, that you're a romantic person, like you kind of wear your heart on your sleeve and you're a lover at heart, you're somebody that believes in true love, that's what people say about you. Maybe also that you've left pe let people down softly, like you've rejected people but then let them down softly. People may also talk about things you've been through in your life. And some people may talk about it where they're very compassionate towards you and kind of like being empathetic towards you and saying, you know, pile number one has been through a lot um, of this feeling of feeling stuck within their life and a lot of tower moments within their life, but they haven't stopped being strong, you know, like they're still a very strong person and soul. And I, I do feel like people talk about that. We do have the death card. So people may talk about the transformations you've been through, whereas other people will talk about this in a negative light and kind of like laugh at the things you've been through. But it's only because they're coming from a place of jealousy, which I'm sorry, pile number one, but it's coming through. And I think when people talk about you, they see you as this very happy-go-lucky person, a gift to everybody. You have a beautiful soul as well with Psyche here, and you've transformed a lot. And I feel like a lot of people are jealous of that, and they just try to focus on your lowest moments. But they don't really try to talk about how you've transformed with death and Psyche, because Psyche is the goddess of the butterfly, like butterflies represent transformation. And she was once a mortal woman and she transformed into a goddess. And so I, I definitely see you've transformed a lot with death and psyche. But those jealous people won't speak about it. But people that speak about you in love speak about you like that and say, you know, pile number one has changed a lot and transformed a lot in the best possible way where it's like, wow, it's inspiring. That's what I get from the Queen of Wands. People also call you very warm-hearted and kind and nurturing. And they say that you're somebody that really cares for others deeply. And you don't like mean people. You don't like disrespectful people. You would be that type of person that stands up for another person that can't stand up for themselves. Although you're kind, um, you also have this look that can turn people to stone if they try to mess with you. Like, you have that type of attitude of like, don't come for me, do not try to mess with me. Like, I'll be kind, I'll set a boundary like firmly and and be kind and still like have compassion towards you as a person, respect towards you as a person, but I'm definitely going to speak up for myself. So I see you being in that energy and people speaking about you like that. And with the snakes here, there's also this vibe of temptation, but um, I'm getting with you, you don't really like that attention from others. You don't really like to be sexualized, I want to say. Sorry, pile number one. Um, so in terms of zodiac signs I see here, I definitely see Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, 
Libra. I see Aries, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Okay, then we have the Magician. There's also Virgo and Gemini showing up here. Then we have the Two of Wands. I'm smelling smoke, so people may, again, talk about, like, days you used to smoke or, like, drink and things like that and, like, party. I don't know. Four of Wands, yeah. Four of Wands are, like, events, parties, things like that. That's what people talk about mostly. Like, the fun times you had together doing that. Queen of Swords. Two of Cups. So I get that people definitely talk about you in a in a way where they say that you're a very romantic person with the two of cups. You want romance. You want to create a romantic connection in your life. And that's that. Like you don't want somebody that's just going to want you because of your looks. You want somebody genuine. And that's something I see here. Those that crush on you may also talk about you in a way where they wish they could create some kind of connection to you. And... A lot of people that like you want to create some kind of friendship with you. I'm getting that you've also created a healthier connection to yourself since the Empress is at the back of the deck, which is self-love and the Magician and Two of Cups. So you've created a healthier connection to yourself. Again, we see snake here. Snakes are transformation. Um, so you have definitely transformed. But with the form ones, I get that people talk about like, the fun things you've done together, the fun things you said, the funny things you said, like Queen of Swords is like things you've said and people telling stories I'm getting about those events and parties and fun moments. We have the fools. So people often say about you that you're this type of free-spirited person. You go to the beat of your own drum. You're somebody that, you know, doesn't mind taking a risk doesn't mind taking a leap of faith towards your desires and dreams with the magician. And you're also somebody that believes in yourself. You're definitely a new person to what they once knew. Like if we're talking about people you went to school with or college with, you're de very different now where they don't fully know this new version of you with the fool. People may have spoken about you as if you're somebody that like, doesn't mind doing like things that are like out of the norm, things that are like fun, um, risky, things like that. Um, but in a fun way <laughs> where it's like a laugh or something. So we have the Ten of Cups. So people may often talk about your relationships that are currently in your life, the friendships you have. If you're in a romantic connection right now, they may talk about that as well or talk about wanting to be with you. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so people speak about you in a way where they say that you've been on this hermit journey where you've been going within and healing a lot. You haven't been through an easy life. Maybe you went through a lot of mental health problems. Um, but you've been healing that. You've been learning about yourself. I mean, we also have the tower again. So people are maybe speaking about the things you went through. Some from a place of compassion. But they're also saying you're powerful enough to get through this. Oh, I just got goosebumps as I said that. Because as I looked at this, I saw this in the beginning of your reading this um, kind of staff thing. I don't know what it means, but then I kind of feel like it represents power. So you're powerful, you're more powerful than your struggles. That's what people say about you. You're stronger than your struggles. Then we have the six of pentacles, the king of swords, and the three of pentacles. So I feel like people talk about you cutting people out of your life. People from your past may talk about you. People may talk about you being somebody really generous and really kind, but when somebody does you wrong, you're going to cut them off as well. Um, you're somebody that knows your worth. I hear you've learned the hard way, but you know your worth. People may also talk about you having really great ideas that may change your life in some way, because when you really 
put your ideas out there and take a, a risk and a leap of faith. It is going to grow in some way. I'm getting that you're not a person that likes drama or anything like that. It's like, I don't know how spicy these messages are. <laughs> um, I get that people mostly speak about the good old days. That is like the spiciest thing here. Like the partying days, things like that. If you're still a partier, like people may talk about things like that. Memories you have with them there. People also say that you're very intelligent and smart and they can see that and you're you you give really good advice is what i'm getting and you're also somebody very generous so now i'm going to get some oracle cards for you to end off so spirit guides of pile number 1 spicy things people say about them So we have Fairy of the Divine Hand, Intoxication, Distorted View, Overindulgence. What did I say? So, you know, like intoxication, things like that, the things you did. <laughs> uh, it's coming up again. Sewer Mermaid, your sensuality is beautiful. So this is exactly what I spoke about. Uh, Wing Seer, you see clearly clairvoyance. You may intuitively already know who this is that spoke about you in this way. And then we have Amara the Menhune with Aloha Healing. So people are talking about how you've transformed as well with Witch at the End of the World and Important and a New Beginning. How you're healing from the things that happened to you in the past but you're completely changing your life around and creating new beginnings for yourself that are so inspiring that it's like you've manifested a lot of new things within your life where your life has completely changed in ways and People are just like, what? How did you do that? Did you did you perform witchcraft? Did you like, are you just naturally very lucky with the green? Like, what is it? How did you do it? What's your secret? That's what I see people saying. So spicy things people say about pile number one, please. We have summoning power, instinct, intellect, control. Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. Miracles, ancient wisdom, and sensuality, feminine wisdom, passion. Do you see? We have like two oracle cards about sensuality. So this is something people love to talk about and the, the night's out. But people are also saying you've become very wise. You've become a lot more powerful. You're somebody that now trusts your instincts to where you want to go. And a miracle has happened in your life. You seem much calmer now. You seem much more at peace right now. And I think that's the main theme of what people say about you. The spicy things that are said. So this is your reading pile number one. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose the screen of Venturine Crystal in the Muse Tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at spicy things people say about you. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Please also note that these topics may be a little bit triggering because people can say negative and positive things about us all the time and we can't necessarily control what other people say about us. But if you are not in the mindset where you can hear these things, then rather don't watch this reading. So I'll just say that as my disclaimer. Let's get started with your reading. So I'm going to start out with some oracle cards to the side first, and then we're going to use your tarot. So spicy things people say about pile number twos, please. Spicy things people say about them. We have the movie star. <laughs> And we have the graphic T with dump him. And then we have the perfume queen at the back of the deck. So people could often talk about you smelling quite good, looking quite good, where it's just like you have the star-like quality to you in some way. You're very glamorous in ways and people also think you're very, very lucky where certain things have happened to you in your life that are just like so wow and they they don't know how it is that you got so lucky in your life. 
They may even say things like, they always smell so good, they always look so good, they look so glamorous in ways with the movie star there. And with dump him on that shirt, I'm hearing like, you could be very blunt, you could be very honest, you could just say the things that are on your mind and not really give a F what people think, um, because you're, you're straightforward, that's what people may say about you. People may even say that you have quite a sense of humor and may share certain jokes you've said with others. Um, and be like, yeah, pile number two said this and it was so funny. So we have the page of wands. People see you as a very playful person, like that doesn't take life too seriously. And then we have the nine of wands. People that are more worried and anxious about what other people say or think of them, say that they can learn from you, say that they look at you as that one person they want to be more like. Um, and people will also say things like, you are a very self-aware person, so you, it's not like you're a mean person or anything like that, but you're aware of what you say to people and like the energy you give out to people. But you're also somebody that doesn't give a F what people say, because someone will always have something bad to say. Someone will always have an opinion of you that's not true. You know what I mean? Because you're somebody that has a star-like quality, uh, people know that you've received um, a lot of people just be like unnecessarily rude to you and things like that out of a place of jealousy. So we have the King of Wands and we have the High Priestess. So there definitely is a lot of fire sign energy here with the Page of Wands, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, also Pisces with the High Priestess. So I'm getting here, you're somebody that, yeah, doesn't really care about what others say about you or what others think about you. You're, you're very eccentric and you're your own person. I'm hearing that you're a natural born leader. You're very funny. You're very charismatic in ways. And I just had goosebumps as I said that. People really like you. A lot of people really admire you and say that about you. And they say that you're somebody with a lot of passion. You're somebody that really spreads joy wherever you go and passion wherever you go and color wherever you go because when I started your reading I saw a rainbow in my room which was really weird and it felt like I was clairvoyantly seeing a rainbow but there's not a real rainbow in my room I hope that makes sense so it's like you're a very colorful and vibrant person and you spread hope everywhere you go and rainbows wherever you go and it's not something where it's like something you have to do or say to others. It's just you being you inspires others in some way. And it's not necessarily something you do or say. But with the high priestess here, I'm also getting that you're very in tune with your own intuition. You don't doubt your own intuition and you trust your own intuition. In the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel, so if you enjoy my videos so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to all my subscribers that have been supporting me since the beginning. Your support means the world to me and I'm so, so, so grateful for you. My goal is to reach 100k subscribers by the end of the year and I can't do it without you, so thank you to everybody that supports and watches. Sending you so, so, so much love. Okay, I'm hearing people may speak about your lifestyle with the movie star here. So let's see, we have the death card. We have the devil. So maybe you've actually dumped somebody. Maybe this is literal. Yeah, like maybe you've actually dumped somebody or let a lot of people go because the death card is about endings, transformations, things like that. So I'm getting that maybe people speak about how like you had a lot of toxic people around you, but you let them go or you let go of toxic habits, toxic traits, toxic environments, toxic jobs, whatever this is, whatever was toxic in your life and draining you, you have let go of because... Maybe it gave you a lot of anxiety at one point, didn't allow you to feel like the best, most passionate version of yourself. And so you've let go of that with the death card and definitely transformed something here. We definitely see a uh, Scorpio and Capricorn energy here too. So we have the Eight of Wands reversed. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. 
Okay, for some of you, I'm getting like, if you did dump a person because of their toxic energies, I'm getting that this person may be telling other people that you haven't been able to move on because the Eight of Wands is about moving forward, right? And if you went through like a tough situation here, I'm getting Eight of Wands reverse would be like not being able to move forward. I'm taking it literally like that. And with Eight of Wands reverse, I'm also getting other people may say things like, you're not dwelling on the past or going back to the people from the past. You're moving forward and not going back. I hope that makes sense. Um, but you're also, for some of you, like I hear you're celibate. You're not like interested in dating right now with Ace of Wands reverse or interested in, you're not interested in hookups or casual relationships. Um, you know, maybe you're taking some time to heal, some time to focus on you. That's what I get from those cards. Then we have the Ten of Swords reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, so I'm getting for some of you, maybe you didn't want to leave this person, like you really wanted to be with this person and things just didn't happen the way you expected or the way you wanted with the Nine of Cups reversed. Like maybe you expected this person to be your life partner or this friend to be your best friend for the rest of your life, but or this job to be your job for the rest of your life, whatever this is, but it didn't happen the way you expected or wanted. And so people may be speaking about that. Why are people speaking about this? We have the Seven of Cups. So there are many reasons why. I guess it's just based off their own agenda. Okay, so for some people, it's a thing of jealousy. So they're speaking about this. And like, because they're, it's like they're kind of looking at you being in a place where you're not perfect right now, where you're going through something right now in your life, or you went through something and you didn't get exactly what you wanted. And I'm kind of seeing somebody smirk. So it's like, they're happy that you didn't get what you want out of this. But you know what I think about karma? They're going to watch you get what you want. That's just an intuitive feeling I'm getting. Like people that are laughing at, at your lowest moments are going to watch you get what you want. Um, and then some people, it's like out of a place of concern and worry and caring about you. And they're like wondering if you're okay. Some people is genuinely from a place of love. And some people it's from another kind of place. Okay, let's get another card. What are the spicy things that people say about pile number two we have the muse of materials i think i'm going to put this back because i just asked that question what are the spicy things people say about them so we have the nine of swords reversed and we have the two of swords reversed and then we have these extra cards here with the two of wands reversed at the back of the deck Okay, so I'm getting that some people may have thought like at some point in your life you were indecisive, you didn't know what to do about the situation or at some point in your life you just didn't know how to make the best decisions for you or you didn't know what decisions were best for you where you kind of felt like you were at this point in your life where you didn't know what to do next, you didn't know what steps to take next. Maybe, maybe Eight of Wands Reverse would be like, I want to take steps, but I don't know where to step. I don't know where to go yet. Like, I'm kind of stuck in the unknown where I don't know what's going to happen yet. And so if you did go through a lot of worries and fears in that place, um, with the Nine of Swords showing up twice, Nine of Swords Reverse could indicate that this worry and fear and anxiety is coming to an end. This hardship is coming to an end. You're releasing it for good now. And at one point you were missing your spark for life with the Ace of Wands reverse because of the things you went through and it really felt heavy on you. But I'm getting that some people are really inspired by the way you've transformed with the Death card because the Death card is about things changing in your life, things transforming in your life. 
And people may not be able to fully see everything that's transformed within you in your life, but they do intuitively sense that. And they do sense that you are now trusting your intuition and now starting to take steps towards something different, where things are starting to transform in your life. Since um, we have the Muse of Materials here, the King of Pentacles, you know, there could have recently been a big level up within your career, within your finances, something along those lines, or your studies. It seems like you're really doing well for yourself right now financially, or you have a lot of potential to get there if you keep on believing in yourself. And people do believe in you, even if they don't see the result yet. And so either people are talking about your potential and them seeing you get there and how inspiring it is, or they're speaking about how you've already transformed with that and your other transformations that you've been through in life. Since we have the star reverse as the next set of cards, um, with this movie star and the star reverse, some people that are jealous of you may be like, oh, like they act like... They act like they get a lot of attention from others. They act like they're the star or like this person that has a lot of confidence and blah, 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 blah. But are they really like that? Like almost trying to take away your shine to make themselves shine more is what I'm hearing. So let's say you have really nice eyes and everybody always compliments your eyes. Then they're like, eh. Like, they're okay. Like, it's kind of giving that shady, jealous vibe, to be honest. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. Muse of Voices, which is the King of Swords. And the High Priestess again. Interesting. So, in terms of other signs I see here, I definitely see a Libra. I think I mentioned Pisces and the Fire Signs. And Capricorn and Scorpio. I also see here earth sign energy, so Virgo and Taurus. Did I mention Libra? I think I did. I also see Aquarius, Leo. I think I mentioned Leo. And Gemini. So those are the signs I see here. In terms of what people are saying, I feel like there is somebody that's talking about you and saying that you're selfish with the Six of Pentacles reverse, saying that you didn't help them with something, but I'm getting that this person could have either always asked for your advice on something and never took your advice, so finally you were just blunt with them and said what was on your mind, and they got very offended by that, or some of you, it's a situation where you can see that this person only reaches out to you when they need you, and they never reach out to say, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Like, what's going on in your life? They only reach out when they want something from you. And so when you said no and set a boundary with them for the first time, which you're not selfish at all, then they're saying you're selfish because keep in mind, we do have six of pentacles at the back of this deck. So you are usually a very generous person. That's what people usually say about you, but this person is now saying that you're selfish, that you've changed for the worst because you're selfish now. Um, but I think you just have more boundaries now, which who the fuck cares if they're saying you're selfish? Sorry for my language, but that's just how I feel. With the Muse of Voices, King of Swords, this is you being really intelligent, really smart, but also having a strong intuition. I mean, the High Priestess has come up twice. It's like you can see through people, you can read people like a book, you can tell people's true intentions towards you, even if they do not show it in the physical. You're very, very smart. You know what steps to take next now. You have that inner clarity from finding that within. Before, maybe you didn't know what to do because you were trying to look for the answer outside of you, but now you're looking for the answers within and you're finding them. And you're doing really great right now. That's what people are saying about you. You're doing really great right now mentally. I, I feel like this energy of your spark coming back with the King of Wands and Page of Wands, the worries leaving... You shining more than ever. Even here, she's smiling. So people may say you have a beautiful smile and you seem much happier lately. 
Now that you've made certain decisions and choices that have bettered your life, now that you've transformed in some way or they're hoping that you do find happiness soon, those that truly care for you and love you. So now let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards for you. So I don't know how exactly spicy these messages were, <laughs> if they were actually spicy or not. Uh, you'll have to let me know. <laughs> okay, Spirit Guides of Pile number two, spicy things people say about them. We have Grumpy Red Fairy with Be Your True Self. People often speak about you being your authentic self. Like I said before, you do not care what other people think of you or what other people say about you. You are living life for you. Other people do not pay your bills. Other people do not make you happy. Like, yes, they can bring a little bit of happiness your way, but they are not the ones that are living your life. You are living your life. And so you live your life as your true self right? And you don't try to conform to what others think you should be like or the decisions others think you should make. You make your own decisions and that's kind of what I'm getting with this Two of Swords reverse. This can also represent not making decisions other people want us to make and following our own intuition with the High Priestess, okay? Doing things we want to do, like going to the beat of your own drum. That's what people say about you. You even dress in a very authentic way, speak in a very authentic way. You don't try to copy others or be like others, and that's why people see that star quality within you. Because people that are very jealous of you try to steal your shine, try to dim your shine, but they can never dim your shine, ever. They can never dim your light, ever. And they may try to copy your shine, try to copy you to replicate your shine, but they can never do that. So we have three witchy sisters with the power of three. Some people think your life has transformed so much that they're wondering, like, if you did magic. I think that came up in pile one. Um, we also have voodoo in blue. So, okay, interesting. Back off. So maybe you've told some people to back off, to F off to F out of your life, people that were toxic towards you, where you will never go back to them. And even if they try to come back to you, you will never let them back into your life. Then we have Marie Masquerade with Glamour, Intrigue, Drama. I feel like people talk about the drama others have created with you, like people that are jealous of you may speak about the drama they had with you. Um... <laughs> It's kind of non-existent to you, but it's still existent to them. Uh, people kind of may talk about drama you've been in, gossip about you, things like that. People are very intrigued by your life, but more so the superficials of your life because Marie Masquerade is always a card that reminds me of a reputation of more of like the superficialities, the surface levels of life um, because in this card, uh, it basically shows her as this woman that, well, you know the story of Marie Masquerade, but it basically tells a story with this card of a woman that, you know, has all the riches of life and has all the glamour and things like that, but people only want to be friends with her because she has that, but she wants people that are real, you know, around her that are not just looking for the superficial superficiality. So sometimes I see this card as like our reputation, you know, how people see us superficially by just the surface level. So people may talk about more surface level things like how glamorous you are, how beautiful or attractive you are or handsome you are, like more surface level things like your finances, the things you have, uh, your reputation, things like that. Um, and there's a lot of intrigue towards you with this pile. Like uh, people are just very intrigued by your life. They want to know everything that's happening in your life. They love to ask questions about you from other people, like ask about, I wonder what's happening in pile one's, pile two's love life, sorry. Um, what is happening right now in pile two's life? Do you know the tea? Like, I kind of see people talking like that where they're so interested and intrigued by your life. So we have idyllic times with the garden and paradise at the back of this deck. So I feel like people may talk about you being like an angel in human form. Uh, people may talk about you being somebody like really a fun person to be around where it feels like a paradise to be with you. You've become a lot more blunt, a lot more cutthroat where you don't care about what you say to those that like are gonna come at you. Like 
I kind of get people saying, if you're going to come at pile number two, they're going to say something to hurt your feelings. You know, they're not a mean person, but if you're going to come at them and disrespect them, then they're going to say that. That's what I'm getting from this back off card, which is kind of funny to me. Um, we have tenderness, true love, compassion. Take it as it resonates. I don't think it's going to resonate with everybody, but that's what I see. Shamanic journey, purpose, attunement, vision, quest. Wisdom, learning, joy, art, music miracles with ancient wisdom so people are talking about how your life has transformed and it feels like a miracle how big your life has transformed it feels very magical it feels like wow people may talk about your love life as well or the people you have relationships with so if you are single people may talk about you recently going on dates and things like that or ask if you're single because they want to take you out on a date or like if you are in a romantic connection, they may say things about your romantic connection or your friendships. People talk about how you found yourself, how you've healed, how you're more wise now. You have these very innocent eyes, but you've, but you've kind of gotten more wisdom now because you've always been this pure soul, but now you're more wise. You're not letting people treat you any way. And that's kind of what I feel with the back off card and wisdom. We have courage, strength, fierceness, family, duality, healing earth. There's a lot of cards here. <laughs> Telepathy, abundance, I told you, <laughs> and divine masculine. So if you're a woman and you are straight, you know, they may talk about the men that were in your life. If you're a man, they may talk about you as a man and how you are. If you're attracted to men, they may talk about the men you've dated. If you're attracted to women, they may talk about the women you've dated. People talk about you being somebody really courageous and bold and you put yourself out there and you're you're okay to be your true self in the world. You're okay with being misunderstood. You're okay with people being jealous of you because you can sense it with telepathy like you can sense the vibes when something's off and then you just don't trust them, you know, and with healing earth, you're only focused on your own healing journey, your own abundance, your own kind of like family and your love life and the things that are important to you. And I see people saying that about you, but also in duality here, people may talk about you again from that place of jealousy, those people that we spoke about before and people just say you're very fierce and strong and courageous like the things you've been through in life that you've healed from you're very very strong and resilient and you have the courage to move past that to move to the future to focus on the things you actually do want in your life that are important to you and make you happy and they're talking about you being very lucky now with your abundance and finances and that kind of level up happening there's strong leadership abilities with this pile. So this is what I have for you. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number threes. If you chose this black tourmaline crystal and you like to use terror, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at spicy things people say about you. So please be aware that this is a general reading. Only terror resonates, leave the rest. Please also note sometimes topics like this can be triggering because things can be said about us that are positive and negative and we can't necessarily control the things other people say about us. So keep it that in mind. Keep that in mind as a disclaimer. If you're not okay to hear things about what people say about you, then rather click off the reading. Okay, let's get started with this oracle card first. This oracle deck. So spirit guides of pile number threes. Spicy things people say about them. So we have the lucky star. So people are talking about you being extremely lucky in a way. You may resonate with pile two if you were drawn. And we have the mother. So some of you are mothers or fathers or people can see you being a great mother or father one day if that's something you want, of course. 
Or, you know, you could be that mother or father of a friend group, be that type of person that is really nurturing and loves to take care of those around you. This card kind of reminds me of the Empress card, right? Uh, a person that's like very nurturing and wants to take care of those around them. So you definitely have that energy showing up here. Some of you could have even taken care of your younger siblings and people may talk about that. There's also something about you very sexy, juicy, delicious. Something about your body too that people really like and talk about. We have the dancer at the back of the deck so people may think that you do something like dancing or something creative in some way or you just have a good looking body that it looks like you can dance. Okay, so Spirit Cards of Pile 3, spicy things people say about them. We have the Moon Reverse. So the Moon Reverse, I'm kind of hearing secrets, things like that. Um, the Moon Upright is usually things that are quite hidden. And since her hair is covering her eyes, she can't see, right? But... Since it's reverse, I'm kind of getting like secrets coming out in the open. So I'd say with this pile, be very careful of who you tell your secrets to. Because I don't know who this is, but somebody has been spilling the tea on your secrets. Been like kind of like the moon reverse. I can also think of like rumors, gossip, lies, things that are not true. Things are that, yeah, things that are like lies that are not true. Somebody, you know, like being deceitful towards you. And with the Knight of Swords at the back of the deck, it's like they just said it without thinking. Weird, but okay, that's what I see. Spicy things people say about Pile 3. The Hanged Man. And we have the Nine of Cups. So people are talking about you having the things you wish for with the Nine of Cups and the Lucky Star, about how you're so lucky right now to have the things you wish for. For some of you, this could be recognition within your career since she's receiving some kind of award or, um, you know, being a great mother, having your, your wish of, you know, being with a spouse and having an amazing love life, or maybe it has to do with your career or finances or your own personal development. Um, whatever this is, even if it has to do with love or a job or whatever this is, or travel, you know, people are just talking about you having the things you've always wished for and that they could wish for too. So we do have the Eight of Swords at the back of the deck and behind that we have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Okay, so I get that some people are like very jealous of you, which has come up in all three piles. I think that's sad, but okay. But um, Knight of Cups here tells me like those that are jealous of you actually secretly admire you and sometimes talk about you in ways where they're like, yeah, I'll admit it, pile number three has achieved a lot, like, that is inspirational, um, but I don't like this about them, and I'll say something like that, like, where they're still being a little bit shady, but still secretly admiring you, okay, but that's, that's what I see there, it's weird, but that's what I see, I'm also getting with the black tourmaline crystal you chose, this is a crystal about protection, spiritual protection, right, so I'm getting that you're very protected and even things that are hidden to you, things that are done in the dark will come to light with the moon reverse, will be seen by you. You know, people being deceptive towards you where you don't know about it, it will come out. People have, having secrets against you or lying to you or deceiving you, it will eventually come out where you see it with the hangman and the illusion is broken because the moon can sometimes represent illusions and the hangman too, because it's that Neptunian energy, the hangman. So now I see it as like an illusion breaking, where you're seeing them for who they truly are. People may also be talking about that, how people in your life have wronged you and you saw them for who they truly are. Eventually, the truth came out. 
but you're also protected against people gossiping about you. So when they do gossip about you or spread rumors about you or tell your uh, tell your secrets or like tell lies about you, then they do get instant karma I'm getting. I'm hearing the word revenge. So some people may do that because of revenge towards you, but then they do get karma eventually. So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy my video so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to all my subscribers that have been supporting me since the beginning. Your support means the world to me. My goal is to reach 100k subscribers by the end of the year and I can't do it without you. I'm so, so, so grateful to everybody that watches and supports the channel. I'm sending you so much love and gratitude. So I'm getting, you know, with this card, she's smiling quite brightly. People may often say like you have a very beautiful smile with a red behind her. They say that you're very sexy, very passionate about whatever it is you do, whatever it is you're getting recognition in, okay, or that you're really talented, that they can see you getting recognition for your talents, even if it's being a mother and it's not like in her career, but like being a mother is a full-time job. Maybe you're getting recognition from others for being such a great mother um, and giving your child exactly the type of life, you know, any child would want or wish for with the Nine of Cups. Take it as it resonates, but something about that is coming through. I'm hearing Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. So you seem really happy lately. You, do, you really do. Um, I don't know why this word is sticking out to me. I have the golden ticket. It's pointing downwards to the nine of cups. So again, it's like you have the golden ticket to everything you wish for. You're really lucky. Um, so Spirit Guides of Pile 3, what are people saying about them? What are the spicy things people say about them and are saying about them? All your cards are reversals. That's so weird. So we do have the Queen of Wands at the back of the deck for now. Let's see what cards you have for now. We have the world reversed. We have the king of pentacles reversed. We have the sun reversed, which is really weird since I said you've been really happy. But maybe the people that are jealous of you are like saying you're not really happy, that it's just like all for show, it's just a facade. That's just what you see on the outside. They're probably not really happy. Like that's what I'm getting from the sun reversed. Ten of swords reversed. Ten of wands upright. Eight of pentacles reversed. Okay, so I'm getting with Eight of Pentacles reverse, which is absolutely not true at all. Like, I want to slap these people, whoever's saying this. Somebody is saying that you don't deserve the success you have, that you don't deserve the achievements you have, because you never worked hard for it. But with the Ten of Wands, actually, you actually did work really hard for it. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into whatever you achieved for yourself. And so they, they're saying, like, you never worked hard for it at all is such a delusion. They're just jealous, really. It's just jealousy. The Star Reverse, it's like they're trying to take away your shine with the Star Reverse, trying to downplay your achievements. Yeah, trying to take away your shine, trying to take away the spotlight the spotlight off of you, if that makes sense, with the star reversed. Six of cups reversed. This may be people from your past. People that are a little bit shady with the moon reverse. And strength reversed. So I'd say for this pile, you have the most jealousy out of all three piles. But it's because of how lucky you are, because you're achieving things, because you seem really happy in your life right now, but also because of your attractiveness and 
you having the things you want in life that other people wish they could have with the Nine of Cups. A lot of people from your past could be speaking about you with Six of Cups reverse. People that have clearly not moved on from you, but you've moved on from them, right? Because Six of Cups reverse is like them living in the past, speaking about you all the time, even though you moved on from them a long time ago. And I actually physically feel you being so like rolling your eyes at this. <laughs> some of you like you're gonna roll your eyes at this and be like Ugh, I don't care about this genuinely I don't care about this either like I don't want to give messages like this but it's what I'm getting so I'm gonna honor it but yeah I guess they're trying to take away your shine with the star reverse um so some people from your past may be saying things about you like oh yeah, they didn't even work that hard, or oh, they just had things handed to them so easily, do they really deserve it, which yes, you do, you're worthy of it, you deserve all of that success and recognition you have, and the things you want in life, king of pentacles reverse is like them saying, oh, did they really have, you know, money, or are they just saying they have money, did they really achieve things in their career, or are they just saying they do, are they really doing well financially or is it just like a rich husband or rich wife? I don't know. Someone in your past was disloyal to you and if you have a romantic connection or a spouse in your life right now, they may be saying that this person is too, which is totally not true at all. So the moon reverse is like a lot of lies about you, rumors, things that are not true. They're saying that you're actually secretly not happy, but you act happy to the whole world. With the world reverse, they're saying that you haven't moved on or let go of them. But really, you're not the one speaking about them. They're the ones speaking about you. So that's what I'm getting here. With strength reverse, it's like they're trying to take away your accomplishments and almost like make it seem like you don't have the talents you do or the strengths you do or things like that like it's I'm hearing the word overrated like let's say you're talented at something they could say you're overrated or something like that or they just don't see why you have the things that you want but they don't and I guess with strength reverse I'm hearing the word weak which I don't think you are I think you are very strong these people are just shady, to be honest, because you have the Queen of Wands at the back of the deck. So it's really obvious that you're showing up as a lucky star. This star should be upright. You're shining like the star. So they're just trying to dim your light. Don't let them. Because they obviously don't see the, the star qualities within themselves. They don't have any star qualities. They're just boring. Their lives are boring. So they have nothing better to talk about than you. Okay, and since you're showing up as the Queen of Wands at the back of the deck, you're very magnetic. You're very attractive, not only physically, but attractive to the things you want in life. So you're very magnetic to the things you want in life. You pull it towards you like a magnet because your energy is very powerful in a way. And with the Queen of Wands, people see you as inspiring. Other people that I'm not mentioning here, like not these people, but like other people see you as inspiring and are saying you deserve this recognition, saying you deserve the success, saying you deserve all this luck, that you are really talented at whatever it is you do, that you're independent, that you deserve this happiness and joy, and they're inspired by you. Okay, so don't let these people get you down. What else are these spicy things that are being said about pile number threes, please? Death rebirth. So this is about you transforming in life. Letting go of the past completely. But then we have the five of wands. So these people from your past are clearly in competition with you. But they may be saying that you're in competition with them, that you still care that you haven't moved on. Because we have the Eight of Wands reverse popping out. The Eight of Wands upright is usually moving forward, right? So I, I take this as like a literal meaning of you haven't moved on. Um, but Eight of Wands is also about taking action towards the things we want in life. And things happening in our life very fast, but 
you know, they may be saying things like, yeah, things are happening in their life slowly. They're probably struggling, blah, 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 praying on your downfall. Um, and you know what happens when you pray on somebody else's downfall? You see flames. I'm just saying, like, these people should be careful messing with somebody that's protected. Yeah, they're saying you didn't take action towards the things you want in life, that you just, that it just got handed to you easily. And we have the Eight of Cups at the back of the deck, which for me is like, them maybe saying that they walked away from you if you walked away from them to like feed their ego. Yeah. What are the spicy things people are saying about pile number three, please? We have the Three of Pentacles. The Emperor. The Queen of Cups. So if you have co-workers or if you are at school, we have the Seven of Pentacles. People like your co-workers or people you go to school with or college with may talk about you in a way where they say that you're Somebody that is inspiring, you're somebody that has a lot of strengths and talents, whatever it is you do. Um, and you're also great at working in teams, that you're really compassionate and deep and sensitive, but in a good way, where they see this as a gift of yours or a strength of yours in a team setting. Maybe you'd be a good mediator, maybe you'd be a good like type of peacemaker type of person that brings peace to the group that you work in. Uh, maybe you'd be good at collaborating with people in some ways. It could even be your boss that's speaking about you and saying they really like your work ethic and the, the things you're doing in work. Um, or your professor or your teachers. And if this is like something where you're like, a full-time mother, then, you know, other mothers could be saying that you're a really compassionate and empathetic mother, and you put in a lot of work towards, you know, building your children's lives for you, that maybe your husband works very hard at work to provide for you, or you work hard as well, um, or vice versa, if you're a man, take it as it resonates. And if you're part of the LGBTQ plus community, take it as it resonates. I don't know. Not everyone here has children, but that's just what I'm getting. So spirit cats of pile number threes. What are the spicy things people say about them? King of Wands reverse. Just going to get a few lost cards. Six of swords. We definitely have a lot of fire energy within this pile for wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo is emphasized with the sun and strength. And also Aquarius, King of Cups reversed. And water sign energy too. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I also see Taurus, Scorpio. I did say Scorpio. And then I also see Capricorn here. Okay, so, or Capricorn Moon. I'm hearing Capricorn Moon. Capricorn rising as well. <laughs> Three of wands at the back of the deck. So what I'm seeing here, you actually have moved on and created a lot of change within your life with the Six of Swords. A lot has changed within you and your own life. The King of Wands reversed. I'm hearing that like people often say that you have no ego, that you're somebody that's really in touch with your heart and you have no ego at all. And you're not somebody with a lot of pride. You're somebody that knows your worth and you're somebody that's confident in yourself and your abilities, but you're not egotistical. I also get that you may have leadership qualities within yourself that you may not fully see. People may speak about that. Or talents within yourself that you may not fully see. You may fully see it, but you may not fully see it, if that makes sense. King of Cups reversed. I get that you feel things on such a deep level that you're not that type of person that pretends to be calm all the time. So you don't keep things hidden or secret. Let's say you're really stressed out. 
you're you're honest about saying, yeah, I'm really stressed out. Like, you know, it's a human thing to have emotions and you're not afraid and ashamed of your emotions or the ups and downs of that. You don't force yourself to be okay if you're not okay. And you don't try to act like you're okay if you're not okay. Four of Wands is about you being a very fun person. People speak about you as if you're a really fun person, as if you're really outgoing. They really like time spent with you. You may be the life of the party when you're not taking care of your kids or focusing on your work, whatever you resonate with. And the Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting a lot is changing in your life with the Six of Swords, but for the better, you've really done a lot of work on yourself, yourself, and I see you more so looking towards the future and what you want to build in your life rather than focusing on the past. So now let's go ahead and get a few oracle cards and then we're going to end off. So what are the spicy things people say about pile number three? We have bright hard light with open connections. Guide the illuminated path. Then we have wisdom with learning, joy, art and music. Sacred gratitude is popping out with reverence, appreciation, prayer. People may speak about your religion or spirituality with guide as well. We have angelic assistance at the back of the deck. So it's clear that your angels have helped you in some way. It's clear that your gratitude has allowed you to attract and manifest more things in your life that you do want. And you're someone with a lot of gratitude, even though you haven't been through the best of life circumstances, you're somebody that does have a lot of gratitude. With Guide, a lot of people look to you as a leader, as inspiration. I keep getting that leadership energy with the pile, this pile, even with the wolf here. The wolf spirit can sometimes represent leadership energy. Okay, so people really are inspired by you. They follow your lead as if you are guiding them to the right path. So we have the Lantern Fairy with a clear solution. It's like people look to you when they need a solution, when they need inspiration, when they need hope, when they feel stuck. When they don't know what to do, they look to you and they think, oh my gosh, should I ask pile number three for advice? They give the best advice. <laughs> Um, let me try to think of this like pile number three would think about this and try to find a solution because pile number three always thinks in a very positive way even when they're going through really the worst things in life or pile number three allows it to allows themselves to take some time to think about it and rationally come up with this idea or pile number three usually trust their instincts and their intuition so I'm going to do that too um it's kind of like that energy so spicy things people say about pile number three we have calm amid chaos And we have Dress of Alchemy with Release Your Power and Fairy of the Green World with The Natural World Needs You. People really think that you could help the world in some way with your strengths, your talents and gifts if you aren't already. That you're very powerful and that you should show that power if you haven't already. People are talking about that. People are talking about how you're such a loving person. You're so generous and... I think you're very intuitive as well. You have a really big heart and you care for anybody that is going through chaos or going through things where you really are there for them and have empathy for them. But you yourself can also be calm amid chaos. You know, you can be that one person that balances out everybody else's emotions around you. So this is what I have for you, pile number three. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.